Hello fellow problem solvers, so they're reading a problem from the Canadian Math Olympiads 2015, problem number 4. As just you try to snatch your entry problem out for a minimum of 15 minutes, ideally an hour, hour and a half actually, an hour to an hour and a half, not more than 3 hours. If you'd like to go along with us, give it a go for the next, you know, 20-30 minutes, draw the diagram, put your first ideas out on paper, look what the problem is asking you. And so now without further ado, let's begin, let's draw the diagram. Okay, so we have this. We have a circle with a center on the A altitude in the triangle ABC. Cuts these as P and Q. We have this BP times CQ is AP times AQ. This weird condition. The center is here. We need to prove that these two circles, BOC and this one, are tangent to each other. It's interesting, and here's, mind you, O is just like introduced at the end, sort of as an afterthought. Oh, and then we have O, and these two are tangent. That's always like sort of a, a hint that, wait, O doesn't, O is just like added at the end. Like there's something on this circle that's interesting. And also, this circle is un a, a circle that has a center here, and its tangent to BOC is unique. Like there's only one such circle. So that's also something to look at, right? There's not many such circles, there's only one. So where's this center going to be, right? This center is the intersection of the center of this circumcircle once we connect BOC. And we take that, the center of that circle, we'll call this T. Then T and this point, when they intersect, they will have this point that's the point of tangency. So that's just something to first, just first glance at the problem, what we see. Now let's see what this condition that the center is on the A altitude implies. So let's call the center I, don't know, I. So then this is going to be, this is 90 minus beta. Then we have this is also 90 minus beta. And this thing right here is 90 minus gamma. And then this is also 90 minus gamma. So this is 2 gamma. 2 times beta, and this thing right here is 2 times alpha. Now, one question is, if we have a point Q here, does the angle PIQ, like what defines this point Q? So it seems that this angle is going to be 2 beta, so that means that this thing right here is going to be 90 minus alpha, which means this is 90 minus gamma, 90 minus alpha. This is beta, and this is gamma. Now, this seems to always be true for these points. If I haven't made any mistakes, and I, it doesn't seem like there's any mistake. This is always sort of, to me, a bit like, wait, what? I wasn't expecting this, so... But it seems to always be true for no matter what circle. So does this mean... Okay, now it has some, it has some sense, because you would assume if... These two are anti-parallel, like that's what sort of these four points being concyclic means, that then their circumcenters would be, uh, you could ref if you could reflect one line, you would get the other one. Uh, okay, so this has some sense, but this is always true. Now, so we have that AP times AB is AQ times AC, and we have this condition, which is AP times AQ is equal to something as well. That's an interesting thing, right? We have AP times AQ is BP times CQ. One question is, how are we ever going to use that condition? This AP times AQ, it just doesn't seem very natural. Let's sort of rewrite this as AP over BP is equal to what? Is equal to CQ over AQ. This to me seems like more natural, like there's some angle going on here. And we can actually pick any, any point here that will have an appropriate angle to have a similarity from this condition. Maybe there's some similarity here that we can use to there's some similarity here that we can use to actually connect this to this fact that these are concyclic. 
Now this point that's on both of them, let's call this point S, right? Now B, S, and C, this is going to be 2 alpha. Now what is this angle going to be? So once you have two tangent, you have point, two circles that are tangent, a point of tangency, call this point S. And what we have, we have some triangle here and another triangle here. We know this angle and this angle are equal to this one and this one. And this is what's enough and necessary for tangency such that, so this, this whole angle needs to be equal to this one plus this one. In other words, this whole angle should be equal to this plus this, which should be equal to this thing right here plus this, which would be 180 minus this angle here. You know, these are just like spitballing ideas, which is what you can only do when you're beginning with a geometry problem. And this is trying to solve it backwards. Now, let's pause here for you know, 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes, try to pause and try to think about how are you going to solve this problem? And here's the next big idea. And the big idea here is, well, it's difficult for us to sort of figure out what S is right now. We know this about the points P and Q, that this holds true, this holds true. This condition is the condition of them being concyclic. What is this condition? So let's actually look at, this as a triangle, ABC. And now this reminds me of a similarity with a point, right? Because this is a, and why do I say it reminds me of a similarity with a point? So this is, let's actually put it so that P is over here and then Q is over here. It reminds me of some similarity with a point because this is AP over BP, AQ over CQ. Bob, if I had another similarity with an angle here condition, such that this XAB and XCA were similar, then P and Q would be the points which corresponds to one another in that similarity. So then it makes sense to try to, okay, let's see what this sort of point would be. If I have a point X such that XAB is similar to XCA, which just means that this angle is equal to, if this angle is X, this one is also X, this one's alpha minus X, alpha minus X. So this is 180 minus alpha, 180 minus alpha. This point is in fact then unique and we can actually prove that it exists by saying, let this be a point here, which has an angle 180 minus alpha. Those points are on a circle here, another circle that's here of 180 minus alpha. And they intersect inside because they're on this, they're not on this side and this, like there's no intersection that's both on this and this side. So this gives us this point X of similarity. And now we have XBA and XCA are similar. And I want, P and Q are corresponding, this means that now XPB and XQA are also going to be similar. Namely, so this angle will be equal to this angle. Or in other words, what we have is that these four points, X, P, A, Q, are concyclic. And furthermore, because this is 180 minus alpha, 180 minus alpha, this is two alpha. So X in fact has to be this point of interest. And this is actually a well-known point in the triangle that has this similarity. It's called the midpoint of the asymmedian, of the intersection of the asymmedian with the circumcircle. And now what we have to prove, we know X is this desired point. We know that if we set X up, it will be on both these circles, and now we just need to prove the tangency. In problems where you have a tangent, where you need to prove a tangency, the hardest part is figuring out what this point of tangency is. My motivation for this when I was solving it was purely, oh, I'll have the opposite similarity, right? I'll have a similarity here that I can then use to have corresponding P and Q. That's the motivation for me. 
and it might be weak, might be a bit, might not be a super strong motivation, but this is what worked for me. And from here, we just need to calculate the, these angles. We need to prove that this angle is actually the sum of this one and this other angle, which is also, mind you, not a simple problem, but this one is alpha minus x. And now what is this angle right here? So we have for this point that these are similar. Can we prove now? Okay, so I know that what this angle is because this one is alpha minus x. This is beta minus alpha minus x. So this plus this is equal to beta. So I need to prove that qxc is beta, but qxc is equal to pxa and this angle is equal to the angle here and this one is beta so this is beta and with that we have shown that wait what are we showing we've shown that this angle plus this one is equal to this angle which is equal to beta and this fishes up the problem it's it breaks down once you figure out the point I thought that this idea of, of this opposite, that trying to use this condition to get the idea of like the opposite similarity is very interesting. I want to show it to you. This finishes up the problem. And as always, thanks for problem solving.